I've already shown you how to work moss stitch corner to corner and in this video I'm going to show you how to work it in the round. No foundation chain and no counting stitches. This is the perfect easy on the rain blanket and it works really well with yarn cakes. I've used a couple of Yarn Smith's Elvis cakes for this blanket. You can find more info about it on my blog as well as a free written pattern. For this tutorial you will need a hook and some yarn. I'm using an acrylic DK weight yarn and a 4mm hook. Just a reminder that I'm using UK crochet terms throughout the video. First of all, make a slip knot and pop it onto your hook. Next, make two chains. We're going to work all of the stitches in our first round into the first chain that we made, so the one furthest away from your hook. First of all, make a double crochet into that chain and then make two more chains. And those two chains that you've just made will become a corner space. Next, make another double crochet into the centre and make one chain. We're now going to repeat that. So make one double crochet, make two chains, which will become the next corner space, another double crochet into the centre. And one more chain. We're going to repeat this once again so that's a double crochet into the centre, two chains for the corner space, another double crochet into the centre and a chain and then repeat it once more so that's a double crochet into the centre chain there, two chains for the corner one more double crochet, gets a little bit fiddly on this first round, but stick with it. And one more chain. And you need to join your round at the top of the first double crochet that we made. You might have to sort of wiggle it through a little bit. And that's your first round done. It doesn't really look much, looks a little bit messy perhaps, but don't worry, stick with it. As we make subsequent rounds, it will all start to take shape. So what we need to do now is actually turn our work and we're going to be working from the other side. The reason I do this is to stop the blanket from skewing to one side. I just think if you keep going round in a circle in the same direction, your natural tension can have a tendency to pull it one way or the other. So by turning on each round, you'll counteract that from happening. So we're going to work a double crochet into the space right below our hook. which is the first chain space. Then make one chain and we're now at a corner space and work a double crochet, two chains and another double crochet into that same corner space. Next, make one chain, one double crochet into the next chain space, one chain, round to the next corner and work a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. Make one chain and then a double crochet into the next chain space, a chain and then we're now at the corner again so it's a double crochet, chain two and another double crochet one chain, a double crochet into the next chain space, chain and then you're at your last corner space. So that's one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet, chain one and work a slip stitch to join your round into the top of the first double crochet that you made. You can see it's starting to look a little bit more square now. So once again, turn your work, no need to make any chains or anything. And we're going to work a double crochet straight into the first chain space, which is almost directly below our hook. Chain one, and we're at the corner, so it's double crochet, two chains, double crochet into the same corner space 
chain one, make a double crochet into the next chain space along the side, chain one, and now you're working a double crochet into the next chain space along the side, chain one, and you're at the corner once again, so it's double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the chain space, chain one, double crochet in the chain space, chain one, round to the next corner, so that's double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet into the chain space, chain one, double crochet into the chain space, chain one, double crochet into the corner space, chain two for the corner, double crochet into the same corner space, chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. Don't forget to do the chain one before you join your round to the top of the first double crochet that you made. There we are. So you can see the square shape now. So next round, turn your work, double crochet into the first chain space, chain one, double crochet into the next chain space, chain one. Now we're at the corner, so it's double crochet, two chains, double crochet, one chain, double crochet into the chain space, one chain, double crochet into the chain space, one chain, double crochet into the next chain space, one chain, corner space is double crochet, chain two, double crochet, Chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. Chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. Chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. Into the corner. Oh, I forgot my chain there. Chain one before you get to the corner. Double crochet into the corner space. Chain two for the corner. And double crochet into that same space. Chain one. Double crochet into the next space, chain one, double crochet into the next space, chain one, double crochet into the next space, chain one, and last corner for this round is double crochet, two chains, double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next chain space, don't forget your chain one before you join with a slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet to join your round. And there we go. So you can see we've got a nice square shape there, nice sharp corners. And that's it, that's all there is to it. You just keep turning each round and working your moss stitch around in your corners. Don't forget to work a double crochet, two chains, double crochet, and you just keep going until your blanket is the size that you would like it to be. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. You can find more videos on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. To keep up to date with what I'm making, come and follow Little Dove Crochet on Facebook and Instagram. Bye for now.